We have nine days to go until chapter three, or is it four? I think it's three. And in order to make time pass, I don't think we're gonna do a dungeon. I think we are gonna push a few more relationships up the ladder. I think Griffith is ready, right? He is ready, and I'm curious about what he was so secretive about in the last episode. And he's ready to get up to Confidant. We're also pretty close to max level with Signy. And I'm thinking she's gonna be our first level 5 um, recruitable character. So there might be like a boss battle. Maybe we'll find her spirit animal and have to tame it or defeat it in battle or something. And Theo is also pretty close. But wasn't Alice pretty close as well? Yeah. We got some good stuff ahead of us. Let's start, however, with Griffith. Splendid. Most impressive. You are a fast learner, young master. I have always looked upon your father as an exemplar of martial skill. You, however, are well on your way to inheriting that title. Good job. You always used to hold my father in high regard, didn't you? Yes, indeed. Of course. Though I am but a simple warrior, I would not be the man I am today without his guidance. You were, or, a lucky man to be able to call him family, sire. That's kind of you to say. I'm glad to hear that. Now, where were we? I could use another go, to be honest. So could I. Let us fight, then. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Young master, I'm sorry, I just remembered. I cannot, I need to be elsewhere. Huh? We shall continue on a different occasion, this I promise. But now I really need to go. What? Just like that? Just like before? Once again, I am sorry. Are you absolutely sure there's nothing I should know about? Right. I didn't like me prying. Never mind. Yes. Well, what can I say? Go if you have to. What is he up to? Can we follow him? Should I be worried? Yes! Perhaps he... Nah, how can I be thinking that? It's Griffith. More disturbingly, it seems I'm starting to talk to myself. I know the feeling. Okay. <sighs> Phew, I'm beat. Griffith really knows what he's doing. But I want to know what he's doing. What about Grandpa is like with the sword? Oh, that's right, I can always ask him, can I? Silly undead business. Cough him up, okay? Are you sure we were not followed? I'm an expert at everything you can think of. I can do no wrong. No, Sir Knight, I'm an expert after all. Is that our Hakim? It is! I trust there were no issues. I... Haksun! Respectfully disagree. No issues? Oh, the innocents. Do you know how hard it is to move that kind of volume without headache? That and the castle army isn't exactly a convenient point of delivery, oh no. Yes, my bad, but you know my meaning. Indeed. Not a single soul, just as you asked, and graciously paid for. That scary Lauren lady and the villagers... They're none the wiser. Well, that's not entirely true, but hear me out on this. The Golden One saw me, but he doesn't care. I don't think he cares about anything. Excellent. I want to avoid any possible ruckus for now. The Golden One, that's gonna be, um, Levant. Hmm. So tell me, does K, pardon Lord Young Lauren, know? What? No. And I don't take well to tattling, are we clear? Ah, naturally, naturally. Customer satisfaction is imperative in my line of work. I will be discreet. Very discreet. <laughs> Watch your tone. Just what was that blasted noise supposed to mean, pray tell? Ah, I'm sorry. This old cloak and dagger ambiance, it's almost like you're some kind of villain, you know? So different from your normal uptight self, Mr. Knight. I'm surprised. No, 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 don't give me that look. I'll show myself out. 
Pleasure doing business with you, Master Griffith. What are they up to? What? If I were an unidentified something and an unknown something else, where would I be? Huh? Oh, what's this? Judging from the trail in... Trails in dust, something heavy must have been moved from here, place... Pla from here, place here. Well, not so long ago. Whatever you were looking for, it is not here. However, upon closer infect inspection, you find in infection. Almost, card, almost. Oh, for the love of... Well, I'll be damned. Griff is going to have some explanation explaining to do. Interesting! So, in order to uh, talk to him and complete the quest, we need to talk to him in private on the pier every Friday afternoon. What day is it today? It's Thrones Day! Also, why aren't they using these in-game names in the quest log? Kinda odd. But it appears we'll have to wait a day in order to complete that quest. Who is available today? Theo is, and I think he's about ready to level up as well in the post-personal bond. So let's go be spoopy with Theo! Hmm, that's funny. I swear... I uh, will. Oh! Whoa! Well, uh, was that any better? Wait, what? How did you even get up there? Well. Ah, oh, my ribs. I think I may have broken a rib. You're trying too hard. I think he likes honesty. I don't want to, like, play along. It didn't seem to work last time. You're right. It, this is hopeless. Okay, that was the final straw. There's just no point in lying to myself anymore. I'm a terrible vampire. But what else can I do? I mean, if a career in evil is beyond my qualifications, then what remains? What about your original dream? Hairdressing? Yes, I'd love to, but haven't I already said that there are certain objective obstacles that preclude me from doing so? Surely there must be something you can do about it. Like what? I mean, just put drapes on the windows of your shop? Change your methods. Well. well, I was thinking about doing haircuts in the dark, but I doubt the gimmick would compensate for the fact that I'm constantly unable to wind or find my sisters, no? No, that's not it. Hmm. What about if you do only vampire? Vampire hairs. <laughs> Fantastic! That gives me an excellent idea. I can't wait. Huh? I'll need to test it out first. No need to jinx this, no? Superstitious vampire. Who would have thought? Ha! Mock me as you will, sir, but I believe this is going to be a game changer. Farewell, friend! Give me some time, okay? Okay, we can do that. But it is Friday, or fair day now. Let's go confront Griffith at the PR. Mighty fine weather, is it not, young master? Mm-hmm. I would say that the climate in Rashdale is most agreeable. Perhaps we should organize a festival one of these days. Is that what you've been working on? Like a festival, a party? I'm sure Lady Ellie would be delighted with that idea. Okay. I'm sure she would. Look, we need to talk. And master? This isn't going to be easy, but as a ruler, I can't shy away from certain revelations. Alas, it can't end in any other way but confrontation. I do not understand what you mean. You will in a second. Explain to me. This! <gasps> How did you? Uh... I'm so sorry, Griffith. 
This... That... Young Master, allow me to explain! I'm afraid this speaks for itself. All my efforts, you were not supposed to find this! All my subterfuge... And all under my nose. Why me? I'm not the bad guy here, Griffith. You know me. I can understand many things. Give it another year or so and I'm pretty sure nothing will faze me anymore. It's just how it is with our family. But really? Pewter toy soldiers? He's collecting figurines, isn't he? Yep. Not toy soldiers, sire. Miniature wargaming. You take two armies, put them in rags and formations, and even give them equipment. They even have named hero units. See, for example, the one you are holding is Werner Karl, the four chosen sword emperor of a uh, Kaftfarzaug Haftspligtversicherungstal. Nailed it! And, uh, why are you looking at me like that? That's wow. Just wow. I feel like Gwen would have a field day with this. Everyone needs a hobby, right? At least tell me you don't have a body pillow of Signy hidden under your bed or whatever. I mean, I wouldn't say no to a Signy body pillow. <clears throat> really, young master? Please, ma young master, I have my standards. Well, I do not. Developers, hit me up. Alright, this is niche, but I guess I don't mind. Why should I, anyway? No need to hide this stuff from me, you know, here. We're friends. Carry on. My gods, thank you. Thank you, Master K. You do not know just how glad I am to hear that. Well, I guess I'll be off then. Huh? Yes? Not a word to Lady Glen? Gwen? Not Glen, or Gren. I could tell Gren he'd have a field day with this as well. Not a word. Oh, thank the gods. Yay, we did it! And we didn't even have, like, a boss battle, which I was assuming the, um, top levels were going to have. We now have unlocked both the Heroic Ch Advance, Morph, and Morph for Encore. Finishing Touch now has a cooldown reduced by 1, and a 6% dodge perk. Pretty neat. How close is Theo to the next level? We could get that. But Signe is also ready. Is she available today? She does not appear to be. So let's go talk to Theo. We only have two days left. Go talk to him. Okay, I figured it out. I know how to work as a hairdresser without incidents. Great. So you're going to painfully struggle every day and night to practice willpower and temperance while also slowly building up the trust of the people you're going to serve, knowing they'll be afraid of you anyway. Well... No! Huh? Well, what do you have in mind then? Well, you'll see, but I need help launching the hairdressing angle of the endeavor. Even though there was a literal lifetime ago, I still have some of the basic tools with me. Scissors, razors, combs, you know, the essentials. But if this idea is to work out, essentials won't suffice. I'm going to need the big guns. I'm gonna need the strongest hair gel ever known to man. Are you serious? <laughs> and dead serious! I should know, I'm already dead! And there's only one place you can get it at. Where is that? Where can we uh, talk to you to uh, find that? The Yuya Tar Pits. Alrighty then. So we do have another uh, quest out in the wilds. How's that treasure thing going along? We're working on it. Good, good. What? You approve? Don't you think th that's an unreliable cop-out that'll lead us to abandoning your kingdom at best? Ah! Uh... Why, of course not. Everyone loves money, me, I sure did. And if you try something funny, pow, right in the kisser. Uh, let's see. Ah, that'd be swell. Anyway, during the last two months, you have achieved Everything great success. That's what we've done. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? That the debtor is gonna be happy. 
We haven't seen him in a long time. Oh, there he is! Speak of the devil! M Mr. Crucy, I wasn't told you were coming. My, how things change. Not that long ago, this place was but ashes and debris. Yet now, one can almost plant a foot without stepping in dung. Almost. Mr. Crucy? You have done a commendable job cleaning the verdigree. People are settling in. A modicum of trade has appeared. And you have rebuilt the castle and its surroundings in surprisingly adequate time, no less. We all try our best. Indeed, which leads me to believe I may have to reconsider my approach to your debts. If you change your terms, you are an enemy, sir. Oh? Your industrious actions made it clear that there was some unfortunate leniency in our agreement. Therefore, henceforth, the furtive union shall triple your monthly installments. You are now my nemesis. What? Adversity brought great prospects out of this domain. Why lose the momentum? If anything, it will help you repay your obligations faster. But, but, but this is madness. Madness? This is business, Sir Kay. How dare you use that reference? I shall contact you again in three months. Do not disappoint. Three months or two months? Make up your mind, Cruzy. Farewell. You may be bald, but you're not a bro. Oh, ho! Are you alright, Sonny? Uh. Just so you know, I heard everything. I always do. Even when you bathe and snore. And when you, well, do everything else. Even the body pillow? Uh. We're blank facing me, son. Rise and smell the ashes. We have a job to do. This isn't the end of the world, you know. We'll adapt. We can manage. And maybe, just maybe, look into that treasure that sister of yours mentioned, huh? We don't even know if that's a thing. Yeah, yeah, but I'd still try. Uh -huh. In the meantime, like I said, We'll have to adapt. Treasure or no, time's a waste. You'll have to work extra hard now. You really lived in a better time, didn't you? Ah, in my time, things were resolved at sword point. The only form of currency was a punch to the throat. Jolly good times indeed. Doesn't sound like I would enjoy them anyhow. Uh, enough of this jibber jabber. With what happened, I want you to... Seven? Might be tough, but I think we can do it in 55 days. Busier than usual. I did say we were gonna work extra hard. So off you go! Fight the power! Or something. I need to talk to the rest first. I really hope that extra quest we've done will carry over. And that's how it went. Ooh, the nerve on that man! What an outrageously unrepentant asshole! I swear, I don't know whether I want to murder or marry that bastard! Uh, excuse me? Yeah, uh, moving on. There's no guarantee he won't pull that off again. Either we work ourselves to death or choose to pursue some risks. Gambling? Horse racing? Excessively brutal gladiatorial combat to the death? Never trust the cute ones. Never. She hides some darkness behind that smile. What? No! I'm talking about that whole ancient family treasure thing! Oh, right. It seems we have little choice. We must double our efforts. In the meantime, myth or no, we'll have to treat that treasure thing more seriously. Right. Still working on that. Nevertheless, we'll go deeper. Yep. If anything, Crucy's deeds prove you are doing something right, young master. Has he not told you that himself? You know, I'm pretty sure that was just despite us. Also a possibility. Uh, at least those guys from the Unity won't pester us anymore. You just had to go there, Kay. Aha! There you are! People of Unity, assume the position! Griffith? Yes, Master Kay? Is there a god of bad luck? 
Why, yes. I believe certain regions of Minwei worship one. I feel like I need to subscribe to his newsletter. Yeah. No more babbling. We're here on important business, yes we are. Bread. Gold. Coffee. And the last guy is going to do alcohol, isn't he? Why the hell no. are you people here again? Haven't we done enough for you already? The voice of oppression speaks again. Oh, watch out, lady. Please, can't we all just calm down? Yes, we can. And yes, that's true. You proved a competent builder with that rebuilding effort of yours. Good job on that. He did. He did, you dolt. But this changes nothing. We won't be swayed by the government's blatant appeasement. Yeah, whatever that means. Isn't that exactly what you asked us to do? Hm. But there is yet more to be done. You see, as a collective, we are not entirely convinced whether you can appropriately represent our ongoing goals and long-term interests. Someone's been hitting the thesaurus. What sort of long-term interests are we talking about here? You can build a house, that much is true. But can you build a consensus? Oh no. What? I'm talking about governance, lad. A community needs someone to pass judgment, someone to bring down law, a voice to resolve our disputes. Are you a bad enough dude for that? Nah, I think not. So if I understood it correctly, you want me to tell you what to think? No. Actually, yeah, that sounds pretty close to what I want, yeah. Come on, it's human nature. Don't you want to judge things? Not even a little bit? No. But I have a very important issue that needs solving. So do I. Yeah, even though I'm an able adult, I'm going to stand here and complain loudly until someone gives me a solution. Politics in a nutshell. All right, all right, I'll do it. Ugh, that's great. Because, purely by accident, of course, we have a case just for you. Is that the only reason why you came here in the first place? Way to get no respect, Kay. Hey, cut me some slack, will you? It's not like I'm in a position of power that will enable me to actively gain their... Oh. <laughs> May I? Out there, there's a damn huge patch of contested land. It's an arable gold mine waiting to happen. Waiting, mind you. It isn't being used. Why is that? Uh, you see, there's a problem with ownership. Two rival families claim to have settled the land long, long ago and both treat it like their own. The end result is, nobody really uses it. Junk is flying high and low, folks refuse to listen, and good lands are wasted. That's not good at all. Anyhow, this is where you need to lay down the smackdown, Mr. Lauren. This dung's been going on for far too long. You should meet with them and talk some common sense straight into their heads. Here, I'll show you on the map. What makes you think they'll listen? You're the fat cat here. That's your power, your mojo. Also, we tried to get a Shadurian philosopher to talk sense to them, but it ended in a tarn feather treatment. He screamed like a little girl! Or so I heard. Well, that's it. Good luck, you! People of Unity? Wait, I still don't know... Well, in fact, I don't know anything at all! Just go there and be kingly. Let real life sort things out, you know? Like your grand somethings. People of Unity, roll out! We have our task cut out for us. Mark my words, this is not the last time we've heard from them. No, because there are still a few more chapters to go. The noose tightens again. Seven kingdom quests completed and completing the quest, the feud. Oof. Hey, will of the people, right? Time to get to work. Yeah. However, that is going to be a tale for another day. Hit that thumbs up, leave a comment below, and share the videos around to get the views up, because views make the world go around, and I really appreciate any support you guys got. As always, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.